They are filled with jealousy and immense regret for letting you go from their life, but still the feelings for you consume them so much. They have dedicated lost love letters for you, wrote texts that they deleted and second guessed. They know you are happy without them, but they refuse to let you go because you bring out the best in them. There is no one like you, but they are guilty for not treating you right. Hey honey, if you're new here, my name is B. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a general reading for you guys, so let's get right into it. At night, this person is guilty of pulling on your energy, which may be why you have been struggling to sleep. They love to lay awake at night and think about you. You are their greatest fantasy, their greatest treasure. But you know what, honey? They don't know how to put their pride and ego aside. They lost this chance with you because they refuse to put aside their fears, anxieties, and they have not stepped up into their divine role. They are too busy living in their shadow self and they refuse to change. Spirit has whacked this person left, right, up, down, with spirituality, pure truth, but they continuously deny their feelings for you. Spirit has begun to inspire you, my viewer, to look your absolute best and to let that shine on your social media in real life and many admirers are basking in your beauty. I see that with this justice card here, you are glowing and it's a reward that Spirit has given you for being authentic, living in your divine truth but karma has a tendency to balance out the scales. So with you thriving and glowing, this person is extremely jealous. They are triggered by your light because they no longer have access to you and your energy. They realize a little too late what a beautiful diamond you were in their life. So the truth is, viewer, they, they treated you wrong. They took your kindness for granted. They took your kindness for weakness. They have this ability to put the blame on you for everything that went wrong. They created pain within you for situations that you should not have been blamed for. They created this narrative about you and diminished your worth in any way they could. This person talked down to you, made you feel like you, if you walked away, it wouldn't affect them and they wouldn't care. As your tarot reader today, I'm calling this person the biggest liar to ever exist. Not only did they lie to you, but they constantly lie to themselves and everyone around them. They lie about their true feelings for you. They said ugly things about you that weren't true. And when you tried to stand up for yourself, they ridiculed you. They manipulated you into feeling embarrassed for speaking up and sharing your voice. I can really sense that energy with the Five of Swords and the Hermit in reverse. This person wanted to purposefully hurt you in any way possible. You may have noticed this left a scar on your self-expression and your throat chakra. You're afraid to speak up and share your emotions for the fear that you won't be listened to or you might be misunderstood. You're suffering with this pain in your heart that you feel you'll never be able to open up yourself again to love. I see someone here who has um, prayed for healing. I see someone here who has casted themselves away from people to be alone and heal. And I'm sorry you're in so much pain. Literally, as I said that, like my throat chakra started going in and out. So I understand. I feel you. I know what that feels like. Spirit wants to remind you that when one door closes, another one opens. You can choose to live your life in the dark. You can choose to sit in pain and agony that this person has left you in. Or you can choose to find the strength within yourself to love your enemies, forgive those who have wronged you, and most importantly, forgive yourself. At the end of the day, whatever you choose, spirit is not here to judge you. I am channeling a narcissist and an empath dynamic for sure. So I'm picking up that you are my empath and this person whose cards are right in front of me, they're the narcissist, okay? You were stuck in this for a long time, dealing with somebody who only cares about their needs, their outer appearance, and money. Please notice how I did not mention you and the things they care about, and that's because they feel like the world revolves only around them, and they could care less, which is, it's pathetic, and it's honestly sad that somebody could not see your worth, because I clearly can. As an empath, you have a big heart and care for people around you, even strangers. You have a charitable nature and always work on improving yourself as a person. So don't let the fact that this person hurt you so deeply ever change this about you. Don't make your heart grow cold because you dealt with someone who basically has no heart. 
Spirit is letting me know some of you think that strength comes from hiding your emotions and putting on a brave face. So strength does not come from hiding your emotions. Strength comes from embracing them, healing them, accepting them, and releasing them. It's okay to cry. Just do me a favor, just don't let this person see you cry because I feel like they get happy to see you at your lowest. Honestly, they're disgusting me with their energy straight up. Like, do not put me and this person in the same room or I'm straight up throwing hands because no one hurts my honeybees, okay? Some little advice that can really reassure you is karma does not play nice. She plays fair. So if you choose to forgive those who have hurt you, karma will always be on your side for the better and karma will grant you fortune. It's important to stay elevated, stay in high vibrations, be the bigger person, and most importantly, learn to control your emotions when they are around you because they love to get an emotional reaction out of you. Some of you need to be extremely careful because I'm hearing from spirit that if you were to get in an argument with this person, they will try to publicly ruin and expose you. Please, for the love of spirit, man, please do not fight with them. Some of you struggle with temper. Others of you, they know your weak spots. They are so vindictive. Remember my words, don't let them get the better of you. Show them who you are and that you are the better person. Operate from a place of love and you can never do any wrong, ever. And just some piece of advice from me, it's fine if you don't take it. It's also fine if you disagree. If they get angry, you get calmer. If they get aggressive, you become gentle. If they become malicious with their words, you become silent. Most importantly, something I've learned, if they play games, be the coach. They have taken enough from you. It's time to cleanse your energy. You need to take cleaning your energy seriously because when you're dealing with someone who is so ugly on the inside like this person they will try everything to diminish your light i have included some links for you in the description box with healing music to cleanse your energy from this person i recommend listening to this music as soon as you wake up and also right before you sleep this is going to help you feel less drained throughout the day and it's also going to help you get some sleep throughout the night also on the right side of the screen i'm going to try my best to include my favorite method of cleansing so first of all i love crystals okay i think it's important to pick up a crystal that you trust and sleep with it. You can sleep with it under your pillow, or if you're wanting to be careful with it, you can sleep with it right by your side. I know that other people love to sleep with a dream catcher that really helps as well with any type of negative dreams or psychic attacks while you're trying to sleep. And most importantly, my favorite method of all, Palo Santo. I use this constantly, all the time. I use it every single day. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your house, Cleanse anything that this energy vampire might have touched. You want their energy completely gone from you and your house. I also recommend that if you're going to do this, make sure you open a window somewhere so that that negative energy has somewhere to escape, all right? I also recommend taking showers daily. I know it sounds silly, but water has a cleansing ability to it. So some of you are really going to benefit from taking constant showers and just cleansing your energy. Most importantly, with the Hierophant showing up here in reverse, some of you could have lived with this person for a short time, a long time, however long, they still have their energy and it's residual in your house is what Spirit is showing me. So what you can do is you can blare some music from like a speaker or your TV and you can find some great home cleansing music on YouTube. Just let that play throughout your house and again, keep those windows open so that the negative energy has somewhere to run away. All of these methods will put that evil eye that they're giving you in check real quick. I really hope this resonated and gave you a peace of mind that it's not you, it's them to blame. Take care of yourself always. Don't listen to other people's opinions. You did the right thing by letting this person go. It's teaching them a big lesson. I promise you that. 
All right, so here are the initials that I was channeling for you, for this person, for anybody that it resonates for. Take these initials as you will. I'm noticing a lot that we have the letter X. So this definitely could be an X, somebody from your past, somebody you were dealing with. Take whatever resonates. Like I always say, take care, be safe. I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye.